<laughs> Alright, so I just got done doing some work on my computer. I cracked open an Alani. This is one of their new flavors, Orange Kiss. I was gonna go to the gym, but change of plans. I got a super exciting package in the mail from Princess Polly. I have been really trying to up my style. I got a bunch of new cute stuff for warmer weather and with spring coming up, I just really needed to refresh my wardrobe. So I'm gonna do a little try on haul for you guys. And thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. I wanted to do a really fun little haul for you guys and show you guys what all I got. Starting off, I got these super cute sandals, just some everyday cute white chunky sandals. I think these are so cute and I can't wait to style these with some of the other stuff I got. So I'll try these on in a minute. I got a size nine and I'm normally a size like eight and a half or nine and these fit perfectly. And next I got a little matching set. This is the cami knit set in the color white. So it's these super cute, soft little knit white shorts. And then it also comes with this super cute short sleeve knit top to wear with it. Next, I got this super adorable romper. It's called the Jalen Halter Romper in the color ec Ecru. Um, this is actually adorable. So the back is kind of open and it has this cute little stretchy band on the back. I'm going to, can't wait to try this on. I think this will be so cute with those sandals. And I also don't have a lot of really like cute tops. I thought this would be perfect for spring. So this is like a scarf top. So you basically like tie it on around you and it's this super soft material with pretty little purple flowers on it and that one was called the nelly hair scarf in the color yellow and it comes in one size i love wearing the color orange so i knew i had to pick up this cute little sundress it is so cute and then it ties in a bow in the back i got this one in a size eight and if you look up close it has this really cute like polka dot detailing on it. That one is called the Coco Mini Dress in the color orange, obviously. Okay, next, I am in desperate need of new denim shorts, and I don't have any in the color black, so I got these kind of like oversized cargo shorts because I want them to be a little bit oversized. Normally, I'm like a size six to eight, depending on the brand, and I thought that these would be really cute, and it also has like this leather patch on the back called the Lou Carpenter Denim Shorts in Washed Black. Don't worry, I'll have everything linked below. And then I also got another pair of shorts. This is like a light wash denim. These are super cute, like everyday little denim shorts. I got these in a size eight again because I wanted them to be not too tight. These are called the Tropicana Denim Shorts. And again, I got these in a size eight. All right, next I got another matching set. This one is called the Pagey Set in the color khaki. So it comes with this really cute little casual cami tank and you can adjust the straps in the back. It's like a really nice material. Pants, which is super cute. They're like flared at the bottom. I also picked up a little pack of gold bracelets. It comes with like this chain one, a little bit chunkier. And then another little gold chain bracelet. And then one with little pearls on it. And then also this cute little charm one that says love on the charm. And I also picked up a pack of little gold rings. I'll have these linked down below as well. They're just cute little everyday dainty gold rings. This one's probably my favorite. So it's like little gold dots and then this one's a little bit thicker, a little heart one and this little cute statement one. And then I also got this cute little baby tee. It says love club on it. I love wearing pink and orange together. I think it's just such a cute color combo. All right, so now I'm going to try all of this on for you guys. I'll leave all of my measurements down below. All right, so here are the Tropicana denim shorts. I love how these are a little bit looser of a fit, but they still look super flattering and fitted. I love how these fit. They're like not too tight. Oh yeah, I'm going to get some good wear out of these. I also love the length on these too. They're not too short, so I don't feel like I'm going to be compromised in the back at all. I also really like the wash on these. All right, next, these are the Lou Carpenter shorts. So I wanted these in a bigger size. I probably could have done a six, but I wanted them to be a little bit more oversized and baggy and I just absolutely love these. I love how they fit too in this little like cargo detailing on the side is just so freaking cute. I just put on those little sandals I got too with it. I think this is such a cute little outfit to go like grocery shopping in or to brunch or lunch or something. All right, next is that scarf top. I love this. I'm also wearing it with 
my Tropicana shorts. I think these go super well together. That is so cute. You can tie it as tight or as loose as you want here in the back. Yeah, it's giving spring. It's giving spring. All right, next is this little khaki matching set. So here's the top. Uh, it feels so nice and comfortable. And then here is the full outfit together. The pants are so loose and like casual. Here it is with those little sandals I got too. I think this will be really cute with like little tennis shoes as well. Elevated, but very comfy looking. I'm obsessed with this. And the length is perfect for me. They're really stretchy. This is the cutest thing I've ever put on my body. Here's the back of the dress. This is so cute. This is gonna be so cute for like a little brunch date or something. Like if you go on vacation or even Easter, I think this is so cute. And it looks really cute with those little sandals too. I put on those bracelets as well. I think they look really cute with this. Ah! I just look like a cute little girly girl. Again, I got this in a size eight. This one I thought it couldn't get any cuter. Look at this romper. It has little pockets too, but I love the buttons on the front. And it's also a halter in the back. I think it's so flattering on the back. I think this would be cute for like a little vacation or like a date night or something. I still have those shoes on. It looks cute with that, but it would also look cute with some more dressy sandals. Or I'm gonna put those little rings on as well, just to accessorize it. I still have those little bracelets on, which I think look really cute with it. And I also love this because you don't have to wear a bra. All for not wearing a bra. All right, last but not least is that little matching set. I think, oh my gosh, I love everything I got. Um, yeah, that's super cute. I love how oversized this top is. You can also, I probably could wear this with like those denim shorts I think would be cute or just like this as a bikini cover up or like to dinner or something and like wearing my hair up and cute and wearing like all these gold accessories and like gold earrings and like cute little sneakers. Yeah. I'm feeling so cute. I'm so excited about everything I got. I just think this will really help elevate my spring wardrobe. Okay, so that was my Princess Polly haul. If you guys are interested in anything, I'll have everything itemized and linked down below as well with my sizing. Thank you again so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanted anything, it would really mean a lot if you use my discount code. It'll also get you 20% off. My discount code is Cory20. I'll also have it down below for whenever you guys decide to go shopping let me know what you guys like the most from this haul leave that down below and let me know if you guys pick up anything but yeah thank you again so much to princess polly for sponsoring this video right, lunch today i'm having one of my new tray meals this is the chicken parm pizza oh i love i think their pizzas are like one of my favorite things that they have they're on a cauliflower crust too so you're getting veggies in but it doesn't taste like cauliflower crust pizza if that makes sense and i love anything chicken parm so i'm very excited for this it smells so good 370 calories 14 fat 35 grams of protein that's really high and then 24 grams of carbs so this is going to be a good little meal before i go to the gym okay so i'm about to head down to the gym and today i'm doing some strength training and i'm also going to run so i've been following this little program it's just an app that you can get in your app store it's called 5k runner and basically it's a training app to help you be able to run a 5k after you finish it so i want to be able to run longer than a mile without dying and i've never been able to do it so so you basically answer a bunch of questions at first and then it'll give you a plan and it also tracks like your runs and stuff so it can connect to your apple watch and it'll kind of adjust and recalibrate to give you the best program to be able to train you properly to be able to run longer miles and yeah let's get to it i'm really excited to move and sweat today so Let's go. currently about to go coach f45 it is 11 25 i have to be there at 11 30 because i'm coaching the noon class today i just got ready i'm having a smoothie i had a little bit of a lighter start this morning because i did not sleep good last night also this smoothie is so good it's a banana with frozen dragon fruit milk chia seeds 
and the caramel toffee macchiato vegan protein from Wana. Mm -mm. Without any further ado, I'm going to run over to F45, get a good coaching session in. I might try to get coffee before if I have time because, like I said, I did not sleep super great last night. I'm on my period and I always get really bad headaches on my period and I had one last night while I was sleeping, so I was like not sleeping very good. Let's get going. All right, just got done with coaching for the day. I'm about to leave. I just did some cleaning up around here. I have to mop and vacuum and all that stuff. Reset the floor for the afternoon coaches and classes. Um, but now it's so nice outside. And whenever it's nice, I love to go to a coffee shop and get myself a little coffee. It's just like the vibe, you know? So I think I'm gonna go to this place near here called Cranky's and get me a coffee because they have the best coffee. Okay, so I'm being kind of a bad vlogger right now. <laughs> I forgot to vlog the rest of my day yesterday. So it's currently the next day and I am just now leaving to go for today's workout, which is hot yoga. I've been really, really into doing workout classes rather than weightlifting on my own. Uh, I go through phases. I feel like I talked about this kind of in my last vlog, but I definitely go through phases where I like to train myself and I'm really like motivated to do so and I really push myself. But sometimes I just like am super busy like throughout the day and I have like a lot on my plate, which is me right now. And going to a workout class is just more ideal and better for me to actually like still see results and push myself and stuff. What is up with everybody in the parking deck today? They're just like walking in the middle of the road. <laughs> that is, I don't get bothered super easily by things or by what people do, but my one of my pet peeves is like people not being courteous of others. Like, I don't know what it is, but especially, <laughs> I don't know if it's just like where I live. And I'm not trying, this is not everybody. There's a good chunk of people who are just kind of rude. <laughs> <laughs> especially in my apartment complex I just think one of my one of my pet peeves and I am not very picky with people like I try to be very understanding and come from a place of love and like putting myself in other people's shoes but one thing that I cannot I cannot deal with is people just being not courteous <laughs> of others like when people are walking in a parking lot and just like walking in the middle of the road and like making you wait for them when they could easily like scoot over a little bit and let you drive past or like when people don't like you're walking behind someone and you're really close to them and they don't hold the door for you and it just like closes in your face <laughs> or this is another one that I've realized that a lot of people that live in my apartment complex do and this is not everybody there are some really nice people that live where I live but I don't know if it's just me but Whenever I walk past people, I always try to like acknowledge them and like not, I don't expect people to stop and like talk with me and have a full on conversation, but just like looking and like giving a nice little smile or like a wave or like, hey, how you doing or something like that. Like I always try to do that. And there's so many people <laughs> that live in my apartment complex and I'm not trying to be rude. Like I understand sometimes people have a bad day, but this is like a consistent thing with people my apartment complex like they completely make it so obvious that they're trying to not look at you and like my boyfriend has noticed this too it's very odd <laughs> like they are like they purposefully like are like turning their body like not wanting to talk to you or like you get on the elevator with them and it's just like really awkward like again i understand people have bad days some people might be a little uncomfortable in social situations or whatever but I promise it makes it 20 times less awkward if you just like acknowledge someone's ex existence you know what I'm saying anywho hopping off my soapbox there about to head in and I'll catch you guys after 
All right, so just got cleaned up after hot yoga. That was such a good class. I didn't wash my hair yet because I'm going to do that tonight. So I just put it up in a nice slicked back bun. But it's so nice outside today. It's still like a tiny bit chilly, but it's so sunny. And I love to spend time outside as much as I can when the sun is out for vitamin D and all that good stuff. So me and Jack are going to go out for lunch together and hopefully sit outside somewhere. We're just going to take a little break and go get something to eat. Here's the little casual outfit. So this t-shirt is actually a Skims dupe. I think in my most recent video, I posted about that orange one I got, but this one is literally half the price and very, very sim similar. Um, they have in a bunch of colors too. I love it. I wear it all the time. And then my Aritzia sweatshorts and then my Nike RYZs. Just something nice and casual. Very nice. <laughs> Okay, so I've been kind of a bad vlogger today again, um, but I've just been vlogging a lot on YouTube shorts and Instagram reels and stuff. And sometimes I just, when I'm doing both like a YouTube vlog and that, I forget. But in the meantime, last time you guys saw me, we went to lunch. It was super fun and just such a nice day outside. Me and Jack always just, I don't know. I just love spending quality time with him. Like yes we do both work from home but we're both working when we're home so it's really nice to like have intentional time together where we're not working or like on our computers or whatever and just have time to sit and talk and enjoy each other each other's company but after that i came home did some more stuff on my computer and then i went grocery shopping i went to whole foods this time and i got a bunch of good stuff and i was super productive as soon as i got home i started prepping and like washing everything and i'm sure you guys have already seen the short form video of it but i did prep a bunch of good stuff so in here obviously we have some fruit and some veggies i already pre-chopped all of my veggies i have some pre-cooked uh ground beef and ground turkey mix uh some more fruit my homemade pickled onions and then i also went ahead and meal prepped just some uh, rotisserie chicken salad. It's so good. Of course, we have like yogurt, hummus, cottage cheese for like snacks. Here, I have two more things of ground beef. And then this just for like a quick lunch or dinner if I am out of everything. Here, I have some more fruit. So just like some little cuties, lemons for seasoning. And then some asparagus. This was from the other day. And then what I'm really excited for, I've been really bad about breakfast lately. Like I'll eat it, but it's either just something super quick because I'm not in the mood to cook it. Um, and it's not, not normally not ever enough. Or I just like wait a long time and then just end up eating like lunch or like just some fruit until lunchtime or something. So I went ahead and meal prepped my breakfast for the next six days. So these are just like little egg McMuffins. It's literally like an English muffin with egg. And I did the sheet pan method for cooking the eggs and it was super fast and really nice. I really like those like frozen breakfast sandwiches that you can get from the store, but they're normally packed with so much crap in them. So when you make them home, make them from home, home you have more control of what goes into them just some snacks like this nut butter is so good my mom actually got this and i wanted to get it too it's called the nutso s'more stuff in it it's so good it has like marshmallows and chocolate and all kinds of yummy stuff and i put those on her rice cake mm, so good a bunch of different siete chips I already got into these cooked queso chips they're dairy free my favorite tortilla chip. I hope you guys are having a good day and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good Bye. morning guys. Happy next day. It's Friday currently. It's not looking like I'm going to have to go in to coach today. So I'm just going to get ready because I do have to go walk our neighbor's dog. I've been getting some questions lately about what happened to my early early morning routines like my 3 50 a.m ones and you guys know the only reason i would get up that early is because i was on the schedule to coach the 5 30 a.m classes at f45 and i had to be there at 5 a.m so that's why i would get up that early but i decided and this isn't to say this is going to be forever i might go back on them at some point but for right now i talked with my boss and it just was not really super beneficial to my sleep schedule to be on 
that routine only once or twice a week because the other days during my week i wouldn't get up that early and it was like really threw me off and on those days i would come home and i would be so tired so for the time being and probably for the foreseeable future unless she just like really needs me to go back on those times i am done <laughs> with the early morning routines and i'm honestly really happy about it because like i said it just kind of like really threw me off and messed with like what i got done with work for the rest of the day so for f45 i'm only doing two classes a week like three or four and it's been really nice because i've been able to focus on my content and stuff a little bit more i'm also traveling a good amount coming up so this weekend i'm so excited tomorrow today's friday so tomorrow afternoon i'm going to go see one of my best friends from college i'm gonna go pick out an outfit to wear all right, so I'm deciding to go with these leggings from Buff Bunny and then this top also from Buff Bunny. I actually decided to put this little white halter bra on instead just because I feel like it was too much going on. Now nice and ready for my day. I'm just going to throw on a jacket and then go walk Mr. Odie. All right, so we just got back from walking my neighbor's dog and I'm about to just sit here and actually edit this video that you're watching right now. So I'm just going to end the vlog here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you're subscribed. Also make sure you comment down below anything you want to see from me in the future and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.